In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the control board on your Minn Kota power drive. So there's three different versions of the power drive that will work with this control board based on the year that the motor was manufactured. There's the power drive V1, which was manufactured in 2001 through 2006. These will have an oval shaped foot pedal plug-in. Next, there's the Power Drive V2, which was manufactured in 2007 through 2016. These will have a round shaped foot pedal plug in. And last, there's the Power Drive Bluetooth models, which started being manufactured in 2017 and are still being made. These will also have the same round shaped foot pedal plug in as the V2 models. For this video, I'll be installing a new V2 control board onto an old V1 power drive. Now, if you have the old V1 power drive and you're installing this new V2 board, your old foot pedal or co-pilot system will no longer work with this board. So you'll have to purchase a new foot pedal or co-pilot system that will work with the round plug-in. So with that said, let's go through step-by-step -step on how to replace this board. You're going to start by cutting off power to the motor. Next, you're going to put the motor into the deployed position, getting the shaft out of the way and giving you access to the control housing. Next, you can remove the side plate screws with a number three Phillips. Once those are out of the way, we can remove the control housing cover. Next, you can disconnect all of your wires from the control board. Take off the strain relief. Now we can remove the control board mounting screws. And now we can remove the old control board. If you have some dirt or debris, go ahead and clean that up before installing the new board. Now this is the new V2 board for this motor. The part number is 2884055 and it is for 12 volt power drives without autopilot. There's also a 24 volt version of this board which is part number 288 4056. Now if you're installing this on a power drive with autopilot, Minn Kota makes a version of this board that will have your additional autopilot wires on it. The 12 volt part number for this board is 2884057 and the 24 volt part number is 2884058. I'll have links for all of these down in the description. This is our new V2 control board. It will mount the same way, except it will only have two mounting screws holding it in and a small recess where the third screw used to be on the V1 board. Once a new board is in place, we can slide heat shrink over our motor power and battery power wires and reconnect them to the new control board. Starting with motor positive,
and motor negative. and battery negative. And battery positive. If you're not installing any additional accessories, there's just four more wires to connect. The black and white steering motor wires will connect to these two black and white wires on the board. And the two wires for the battery meter board will connect to these two wires over here. If your motor does have autopilot, the autopilot wires will connect to the matching wires on the coil cord. Now if you're installing an iPilot or advanced GPS controller, the black and white steering motor wires will not hook up on the control board. They will hook up to the matching black and white wires on the controller. And the black and white wires on the control board will be left unplugged. So with all that covered, on this motor we won't be hooking up any of those additional accessories, so we can go ahead and hook up our four remaining wires. And the two wires for the battery meter board will connect to these two wires over here. Once you have all of the wires hooked up, you can put your strain relief back in place. The middle slot is for your foot pedal plug. The big slot is for your battery lead wire. And this small slot is for the steering motor wire and will only be used if you're running iPilot or advanced GPS. And once the strain relief is back in place, you can go ahead and shrink the heat shrink. Now we can reinstall our control housing cover. and our side plates. And once that is done, we can connect our foot pedal or whatever accessory we are using. Reconnect our motor to power and test. So that covers it for our power drive control board installation. If you need to pick one of these up, we'll have links in the description below. I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, keep trolling.